Hello. So springs. You want to update, upgrade the the springs of your Dobsonian, and don't know what to, what to do. Uh, I strongly recommend this kind of spring. This kind of spring you can find it on Amazon or a local shop. And if you search, uh, usually they use this for 3D printers to, to balance. Uh, there are uh, five different tensions, so be aware of that. The yellow one is the, the light one. Then you have the blue, this, like this. Then you have the red one and then you have the green one, stronger, see, it's much stronger. And um, then you have uh, the stronger one, it's heavy, it's the brown. So when you will choose the, the color because of the tension you need, to my setup, which is a 12 inch Topsonian, so the mirror uh, requires the green one. So if you have a setup like mine, you want the green one. But for uh, smaller mirrors, you will want probably less tension so you have to play with the tension initially well this was the, <laughs> the springs i had in my dobsonian before i moved the the mirror up you can see the video now even that you don't want to move the mirror you should change this the difference is, you will buy smaller than this. So, from this, I start searching. Uh, while I was searching, my mirror was fixed with, uh, you can see also in the mirror, in, in the video, was fixed and it works very well. Old collimation because it's fixed. Uh, it was with uh, with uh, butterfly uh, nuts, so the difference was that I I don't turn like this uh, the knobs. I had to first release the the nuts and then I turn and then lock again. So very easy. Uh, what made me upgrade to <coughs> to the springs first because everybody uses springs, so should be better. Uh, also, some telescopes have a fixed system, like Obsession and so. Um, but mainly because I was, I am in a, in a hot weather uh, region in the south of Portugal, Algarve, and uh, with extreme hot temperatures, the metal, every metal I have, delays. So, I, I start thinking, I have this fixed, this is metal, with metal fixed, and it will be delation. If I use the spring, The touching points will be will be here and here too, but as it has a tension, the dilation will be absorbed by by the the spring. So I thought, yes, it will be better to try the springs, and I did it. First, 
I bought not racing too much. I bought the blue ones. See? The blue ones. And they work fine. I didn't uh, got the right measure. I it's smaller. Uh, I need it uh, a little big bigger. But um, what I did and you should do too is to buy or if you have the Belleville washers uh, you can find in your shop or in, in Amazon too. the Belleville some people use only Belleville washers to instead of springs and it works because they they are like the other springs the regular ones but these springs are with um, a format they next to each other they give tension strong tension so uh, I, I don't uh, I prefer the springs because these springs are so heavy and so strong that uh, I prefer them rather than have uh, washers and and if I I have to to take off uh, the, the the screws, uh, the knobs, uh, it will be a lot of washers and they fall. No, I like the keeping simple way. So I use only the washers, the Belleville washers, to adjust if I need more tension, and I need it because it's it's difficult for you to to buy the right measure so as i did i bought these ones and uh, i think they have uh, 35 millimeters but that depends of your setup of your knobs and first i did was to put the washers here i will not demonstrate in the scope because it's very well collimated so imagine this is the cell, you put the knob, the, the, the collimation knob, you take one at a time, one at a time, you do this operation one, and then you pass to the other, with the scope pointing up, so the, the knobs down. Then you put the, the, the knob like this, if you don't need washer, because you have the right measure, I did with the blue like this, I saw I need more tension, so I first put the washers. I don't remember how many, but I, I was figuring and maybe four or five or more. I stacked him, them, and then with some inclination, I put this because the mirror is here and I, I, I did that this operation without taking the mirror I don't need it and you do the same so the other two knobs are fixed and I just managing this one I do this at the ground for the scope to be to be on vertical I did like this put and then I just lift a little the mirror and adjust to the point to the hole of the the knob and that's it and turn and, and tight the, the the knob that's it and this will be with tension now i did that it works very well with the blue with some washers belleville washers they are better then i decide to try a stiffer one the the green because i noted that I can, I could push, push more of the tension and uh, to have the right tension. I didn't need it, but I wanted to try. So I didn't uh, bought the brown ones because I think for this mirror, a 12 inch one and uh, his weight, uh, it's too much. And uh, I bought the green and spot on this is the the right one that you have to buy for your 
12 inch GSO mirror or similar. So I could even, I, I bought this one, I think they have 40, I increased 5 millimeters because it's a little more than the, the distance we have there. You can buy more distance, bigger than the distance that you see. You, you measure the distance of the knob to the cell, you know, that you have right now. And then you can put a little more because it will be with tension. Uh, I could put uh, half a millimeter, uh, uh, five millimeters more instead of 40, 45. But I will not buy again, it isn't worth it. So what I did was to put, I think, two, two washers. I put again, put the two washers. I did like this, lift because this will be higher. So you have to lift carefully with the, the fingers in the, in the cell, not in the mirror. You lift and you adjust and then you screw. You do that for all the three knobs. I can tell you that I'm very happy with this. This I made uh, some time ago. So at the moment I'm, do, I'm recording this video, I'm already, uh, I already have the knowledge and the experience of using this. And I can tell you only one thing, the collimation stand as it is always. My collimation only changes one or two millimeters because sometimes, because I transport five meters, the scope every night. And uh, sometimes I'm not very careful in, and, and shake a lot. And, but uh, one millimeter or two. I, <laughs> when I check collimation, usually, or I don't do nothing, I don't have to, or I have to adjust one or two millimeters inside the mark. So my optical axis never get out of the mark, which is good. So this works. And I re strongly recommend that you, if you're going to upgrade, whether you are going to lift the mirror or not, doesn't matter. Just have to check the measures and uh, look at this. Look at this difference. <laughs> this, well, it will be bigger, but this and this. <laughs> I even have, almost have strength to, to push it down. This works. Well, I hope you, this video helps you and that you liked and subscribed the channel, it's important. Cheers!